Understanding, to draw the line, an English idiom explained. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the interesting world of idioms, specifically the phrase, to draw the line. Idioms are a vital part of English, adding color and depth to our conversations. So, let's explore what this phrase means and how you can use it effectively. To draw the line is an idiom that means to set a limit on what you find acceptable or tolerable. It's about defining a boundary, often in terms of behavior or actions, beyond which you are not willing to go. This phrase is used in various contexts, from personal relationships to professional settings. For example, you might say, I draw the line at working overtime on weekends. This means that you are willing to work extra hours, but not on weekends. The phrase originates from the physical act of drawing a line on the ground to set a boundary. Historically, it was used to establish limits in territorial disputes. Over time, it has evolved into a metaphorical expression in everyday language. Understanding the origins can help us appreciate the use of the idiom in modern contexts. Let's see how, to draw the line, is used in daily conversations. 1. Personal boundaries. I'm okay with lending my books, but I draw the line at lending my laptop. 2. Workplace settings. Our company encourages innovation, but we draw the line at unethical practices. 3. Family rules. We allow our kids some screen time, but we draw the line at 2 hours per day. These examples show how the phrase can be adapted to different situations to express limits and boundaries. There are variations of the phrase that carry a similar meaning. For example, to set a boundary, to establish a limit, to mark the line. Understanding these variations can enhance your vocabulary and expression in English. Thank you for joining us in exploring the idiom, to draw the line. We hope this video has been insightful and helps you in your journey of mastering the English language. Remember, idioms like this are not just phrases but windows into the culture and history of the language. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to draw your own lines in learning English. See you in our next video.